Hello and welcome to my tutorial on converting 2D pictures into 3D using the free software Gimple 3D. Gimple 3D is a very capable program that can do many things but here I'm just going to show you the basics of converting a single 2D picture into a 3D image. Firstly we'll load our single image using the single frame load fresh frame menu item. As a side note, you may have to flip your image vertically before loading it into Gimbal. So the first part of the conversion process is to divide the image into separate layers representing each surface and Gimbal provides several ways to do this. One way is to manually divide the image up, so let's try that first. To pan around the image, hold the Alt key down and the left mouse button. To zoom in and out, hold the Alt key down and hold the right mouse button. To start creating a layer, hold down the T key and press the mouse button on a corner of a layer. Then continue holding the T key down and clicking around the corners of the shape. To finish off a layer, just press the Enter key. Just continue this process for the rest of the image, making sure the layers butt up against each other. Hold on T, start on the corner, keep holding down T. As you can see, this last layer I made has a green edge between the one next door and that means it's not quite touching and we need to fix that. So to fix it, we need to select that layer and the way we do that is hold the Q key down and click on it and then we need to use the Shift Edge tool. This tool allows us to move the top, bottom, left and right edges, pixels to the left, right, up or down. So in our case, if we shift that to, press escape to unselect, now there's no green edge between these two. So it's fixed. If the layer is beyond repair, we need to just delete it and start again. To delete it, again select it with Q, go to the Tools menu and press Delete Selection. Another way to create all the layers is to use an image to define them called a layer mask. This is an image that you create in a 2D drawing program like Photoshop, GIMP or Krita that has each layer defined as a separate unique colour. I'll just show you this idea quickly. Using the polygonal lasso tool, you need to define again the areas of each surface, like so. Making sure that anti aliasing is disabled. Once you have a section selected, Fill it with a solid colour and continue this process for the rest of the image. I'll do one more. Making sure you leave no pixels between all the areas. Now, back in Gimple, we can load that image with the menu item Import Layer Mask. Select your image, open, 
don't need to fill too many pixels. And you'll see it's created all of our layers automatically. Now that we have all of our layers, it's time to start the actual 3D conversion. Switch to the 2D 3D view. Controlling the 3D view is similar to the 2D view. Hold down Alt and left mouse button to rotate the view. Alt and middle mouse button to pan the view. And Alt and right click to zoom the view. The first thing we need to do is to find a good reference layer that we can use to build up the rest of the image. A good one I normally use is the floor, so that we'll select that with the Q key, and you can do this in either the 3D or the 2D view, and then we need to set its orientation. So with the orientation menu, we're going to get it to rotate around the bottom part of the image, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. And once that's done, one of the things that I like to do is to select the rest of the entire image and push it out the way. So to do that, hold Ctrl and A to select every single layer. Then we can hold down the Q key to toggle off the floor. And then if we bring up the depth menu, we can push all those items all the way back. Press Escape to deselect everything. there we go. At this point I find it useful to turn off the grid and also to turn off these borders between each layer by pressing B. Now that we've got the floor done we can use it as a basis for the rest of the conversion and to do that we'll be using the auto align tool. The way this works is that you select a layer that's correctly orientated, in this case the floor, and then you select a layer that isn't, I'm going to select this piece here, um, and these have to be ones that are touching each other in the 2D view. And then depending on the commonly shared edge, and whether it's concave or convex, vertical or horizontal, we'll use these buttons to automatically align it. So in this case it's uh, concave horizontal. Press the button and you can see it's now correctly aligned that part in 3D to the floor. If there's a part that shares multiple edges, so if I select this piece here, you can see it's sharing this one with the corrected piece and the bottom with the corrected piece, you can use the align all button a good job of aligning that piece to the rest of them. Then just repeat this process for the rest of the image. Once done we can make our anaglyph image. Press B to turn the borders back on then switch to the 3D view. Use the 3D view options to recenter the view. Change the view to anaglyph mode and then we can use the stereo settings to correct the eye separation, focal length and scale. So I like to focus on the front, not have too great a separation, and I can to scale this. And there you are, a nice anaglyph 3D image created from a 2D image. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful. Bye!